National Educator. Hello students, uh, welcome to Form 3, Mathematics Lesson 3. The topic is Quadratic Equations and the subtopic is Completing a Square Method. Introduction. The general form of a quadratic equation is given by looking at the general form of a quadratic equation which is given by ax squared plus bx plus c is equals to zero. When we have this form of an equation, then we say a is the coefficient. a is the coefficient of x squared. A coefficient is a letter that comes before uh, sorry, a coefficient is a number that comes before the variable. So in this case, our number here will be a, and the a becomes the coefficient of x squared. In the same way, b is the coefficient of x. This is the number that comes before the variable x. And finally, we have c, and we say c is a constant. A constant is simply a number that does not change. For example, if I give you a number like 3, 2, 5, 7, those are constants. And this is the general form of a quadratic equation. Now, we need to look at perfect squares before we start now solving quadratic equations. So what are perfect squares? When we are looking at perfect squares, we are thinking of getting two numbers. For example, if I have 2 times 2, we know the answer is 4. In the same way, if I gave you 9 times 9, the answer would be 80, 81. So we say 81 is a perfect square because the square root of 81 is 9 times 9. In other words, we are saying the factors of 81 is 9 and 9. Similarly, if I take the square root of 4, I'll get the factors of 4, which will be 2 times times 2. This concept can be extended to expressions. If I get an expression of the form x squared plus 6x plus 9, we say that is a quadratic expression because it takes the form of the equation. This is the quadratic equation because of the equal sign, but this is a quadratic expression because the equal sign is missing. However, we are saying this quadratic expression is perfect. We've seen the meaning of perfect is if I have 9 times 9 to give me 81 and I have 2 times 2 to give me 4, then 4 and 81 are perfect squares. In a similar way, these expressions can be perfect because x squared plus 6x plus 9 is given by x plus 3 times x plus 3, which can be written in a short form as x plus 3 squared. And this now is a perfect square which can be expressed in form of these two factors. And because these two factors are repeated, we can condense it and write it as x plus 3 squared. 